What's up YouTube, back with another video, and today I'm gonna go over the WNBA 3 Out Active Freelance, as well as the regular 3 Out Active Freelance, and how you can use them to break a 2-3 zone. And in my last video about the Flow Freelance, I showed all of the actions in man, and then I showed the actions that could be good against the 3-2, but in this one, I'ma just show everything against the 2-3. Because this Freelance against man, it's not all that great, like there's a lot of other Freelances that are better, but it's pretty good against the 2-3 zone. So with that being said, let's get into it. So if we look at the description, it really doesn't tell us much, especially when you look under types of actions, you see it says varied. And that is what makes this freelance kind of hard to explain because in most other freelances, it'll tell you what types of actions you can expect to see, as well as when you stand on certain parts of the court, you know what's going to happen. And in a lot of cases, you can force a certain type of action you want to happen every single time. Whereas in this one, it's pretty random random and there's no real way to like kind of pick what you want to happen so you just have to take whatever the game decides to give you and there are actions that are really good against the 2-3 and then some that really aren't but you don't only have to rely on the actions to score on the 2-3 using these freelances because in order to break a zone all you really need is good shooters and the proper spacing and just patience and you can do that with these freelances without following the actions so if you just move the ball and get the ball into the gaps of the zones and get people out of position, you can still score. And I show examples of me using the actions and just examples of me just moving the ball around and getting open shots too. So right here, I'm using the WNBA 3 out active. And I did notice that there are a lot more actions that could happen when you use the WNBA one rather than just the regular 3 out active. But like I said, you don't really need to use the actions in order to score, but they can help. So right here, I have the ball with Chris Paul at the top and Bridges is in the corner then he's gonna come up to the wing and gets open for a three. So I will admit the computer really sucks at playing zone both 3-2 and 2-3 even though they do play a two, the 2-3 two, a little bit better they will still leave people wide open. So against the 2-3 the wings as well as like the free throw line and the elbows are pretty exposed and that's where you want to get the ball and right here Gordon is guarding the ball and Oladipo has to guard Booker on the wing and when Bridges comes up Tucker is supposed to help Gordon because he can't possibly guard both of them up there even though that's Gordon's spot and that's like the parts of the court he's responsible for Tucker has to help him but he doesn't he just stays under the rim and I get an open three the same thing happens right here. I bring the ball up with Chris Paul and Gordon is guarding Bridges and Oladipo has to guard Chris Paul. And Devin Booker is wide open on the wing and Naraba has to come up but he doesn't. He just stays paint and Booker gets an open three. So right here, I could just pass it to Booker and get a shot, but I pretend that someone would actually go out there and guard him. So I just wait to run one of the actions of the freelance and Johnson comes up to set a screen for him, but there's nobody there to screen and Booker goes to the block and then Johnson will screen for him again and Booker will come up to the wing and get open for a three. So assuming that Nawabra actually comes up to help, he would get screened and Booker will get open anyways. So right here, I bring the ball up with Chris Paul and and I pass it to Bridges on the wing. Then I pass it to Booker up top and pass it to Johnson in the high post, which is a really good place to have the ball against the 2 3 zone. And Paul will run through two screens to the top, but he's not open. Then I swing the ball to Booker on the wing. I get a wide open shot. I miss, but that's great offense right there. Right here, I bring the ball up with Chris Paul, then pass it to Bridges on the wing. Then Booker will cut to the rim, but he doesn't get open. So he will get a screen from Johnson. And since the defense is in zone, once Gordon gets screened, the big man isn't there to help or switch. So when Booker comes up to the top of the key, he's wide open for a three. Right here, I have the ball with Bridges on the wing and I pass it to Chris Paul at the top and then I give it to Aiden in the high post. And look at what that does. Everybody is so focused on Aiden. Bridges sneaks into the corner, a dot corner, and I get a wide open three. I miss, but that's great offense. You'll take that every time. Right here, I have the ball with Booker at the top and I give it to Johnson in the high post and I wait. Then Bridges will set a screen for Booker and Booker will go corner and get wide open. 
In Nick's example right here, I end up getting a corner three when I really shouldn't have. So I have the ball with Chris Paul and then I pass it over to Bridges on the wing and Chris Paul will go corner. And when the ball is on the wing, the defense actually does what they're supposed to do. So Gordon is guarding the ball. Tucker moves over so that he can guard the corner and then Christian Wood would have Aiden and Oladipo has Booker. Pretty much everybody's guarded. But now when I pass the ball to Booker at the top, Tucker moves over to the paint. So now Christian Wood is basically guarding nobody when Tucker should have just stayed where he was to guard the corner but since he leaves I pass it to Chris Paul in the corner and get a wide open three in this example right here I have the ball with Johnson on the wing and then I throw a cross court pass to Booker then Chris Paul will run baseline and he'll get a screen from both Bridges and Johnson and if you notice on that side of the court it's basically a three on two so Gordon and Tucker have to guard three people and so once Chris Paul runs through the screen and comes up to the top he's wide open for a three now in these examples i'm using the regular three out active freelance and there's a lot less actions than the wnba one but i'm really just using it for the spacing and i'm not really using the actions to try and score i'm just moving the ball around and getting open shots so right here i dribble up the court with chris paul then i pass the bridges on the wing then i pass it to booker at the top pass it back to bridges and then back to booker and i get an open three nothing special just moving the ball getting the ball into the game of the zone and taking my open shot right here i have the ball chris paul pass it to booker on the wing i could shoot this but i don't give it back to chris paul pass the bridges back to paul back to booker take my shot right here i have the ball with paul i pass the booker then i pass the bridges back to booker back to bridges to paul back to booker and take my shot so this little strategy, even though it was really simple, it could still be really effective. And this is basically what I did in my last game. So I uploaded a video of somebody running a 2-3 zone against me. And even though I wasn't using this freelance, I was using the flow freelance. It got to a point in the game where I wasn't really using the freelance. I was just moving the ball back and forth across the court until I got an open shot. And it worked out pretty well. So that's pretty much it for the video. And just to wrap things up, if you want to break a 2-3 zone you want to attack the soft spots in that zone which is the wings the top of the key and the free throw line elbow high post area and the WNBA 3 out active as well as the 3 out active freelances are good for taking advantage of those soft spots and as for the differences between the two from what I've noticed the WNBA 3 out active has a lot more scoring actions and it utilizes the high post more often as far as which one is better Better. both of them have their pros and cons so the WNBA 3 out even though it has more actions all the actions aren't that good against the 2-3 even though a lot of them are and it's a lot more random so when you come up the court looking for a certain action you just have to hope the game gives you whatever action that you're looking for and there's no real way to control that whereas the 3 out active even though it has less actions it's more predictable and it's good if you just want the spacing and don't really care about the actions you can just use it for the spacing and move the ball around and score that way but if i were to pick one i would probably pick the wnba three out just because if i want to use the actions i can but if i just want to move the ball around and not really worry about it i could do that too so it's a lot more versatile when it comes to that and when you're playing against real people sometimes you don't have time or you just don't really want to try to use the actions and hope that it, the game gives you the action that you want and you just want to move the ball around into the gaps of the zone until you find a shot you can do that with the WNBA 3 out so if I were to use one that's the one I would use so I hope this helped you thanks for watching and stay tuned for more content